How to remove the rear bumper cover on a Volkswagen Golf. The first thing we need to do is remove the rear light clusters. Let's open the boot. We'll start with the left hand side first. Let's just open this panel up. Kind of clockwise, kind of clockwise. That's the back of the light unit. So I've just removed the trim work. You don't need to do this, all this carpet bits here. You can leave it here, but this makes it easier to show. So you've got one nut here that you need to remove and another in the corner. So there's eight millimeter. Both of those removed. There's another nut you need to remove to release the light and it's behind this section here. So this carpet needs to come out a bit. So you need to remove this bracket here. And this is on a T25 torque screw head. That's now ready to come out. Now with this bracket removed, you'll be able to move this fabric forward and get access from behind. You can access it through this here without removing all the carpet, but I am in this case, just to make it easier to film. So pull everything forward. So the third bolt, if you can see it, it's just in here. Again, another 10, 8 millimeter. We also need to remove the bulb holder from the light unit. So squeeze these two tabs together. Careful not to push the light unit out of the car. You may want to do this earlier in the process or you can leave it till now. And that's out. And now the light cluster is free. Now the light unit will just come out. Then repeat for the right hand side is exactly the same thing except there isn't a bracket in the way. Once you removed the three nuts that hold in place and disconnect the wiring uh, for the bulbs it will still be connected here in the corner. Now there's a little pin located right here and what you need to do is sort of wiggle it backwards and forth to release it. There you go and you can see it's just a pin. Now that we got the rear light clusters removed, there's a series of screws around the bumper we need to remove. In the wheel arch, you can see there's three screws, one here, and the third one's down here. These three are on a Torx T25, so remove these next. They're located in the inner wheel arch. Those are all out. So now I need to repeat for the other wheel well. So the other side now is done. Next, there's two T27 torque screws at the bottom of the rear bumper. As you can see, these ones underneath are pretty hefty screws. So the screws in the arches look like this, quite small, and under the bumper, quite big. Next, remove the two screws on the top of the bumper. These are also a Torx T27 as well. In the corners of the bumper, use a punch or a small screwdriver to push down the center and that will release the pin here. Next, we need to disconnect the electrics to the number plate bulbs. So it's in the wheel well on the left hand side. So you can see the connector here that goes all the way down there. So you can just slide this sideways. That releases it from the back of the car. So you can squeeze these tabs at the top. That disconnects the electrics. So that's the electrics disconnected. And it exits the car here. There's a rubber seal so you can just squeeze this together. You can squeeze this inwards and you can push it through. Push to 
cabling outside the car. That's everything done. You can now pull the bumper out. Slide it forwards. Both sides. And you're done. So when you put the bumper back on, use these end corner moldings as a guide and slide them straight in. So you can see these tabs slide right in and fit flush. And also, don't remember to reconnect the electrics for the number plate before you put this on.